Welcome back. I'm here at the whiteboard because I'm a super fan of what Brene Brown calls a crappy first draft. She actually has another word for it, but I gotta be a little more PC. So I'm gonna talk about HIP 51 for as briefly as possible. Uh, I wanna get you into the problem space so that we can start talking about solutions and maybe have a live stream on this or just link you to the information that's really, really important. So if you've got some questions on this, put them in the comments below. If you know the answers to some of the questions, put them down below. But I wanna get this information just start out there and just get some movement going because we have just a few more days left in the vote and it would be great to have you make an informed vote as much as uh, as informed as you'd like. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. So this is for HIP 51 and basically HIP 51 wants to set up what we need in the helium e ecosystem for the future. So why is that? What, what, what are we doing? Well, up until this point, h and has been basically linked to the IoT space. And of course, with 5G coming, the sense is, well, how do, we, how do we get to there from here? And what does that look like, right? So in the IoT space, we have all these different use cases that are in the system. So we have the users, right? The devices, and just talking in the, in the IoT space right now. Uh, so we have the devices, the dog trackers, the mo soil moisture sensors, the package trackers, all of that kind of stuff that we want to uh, support this, right? And then we had to build up the, the proof of coverage, right? So there's, there's all of that is just in the utility, the end utility of the network which of course gives us data transfer. And that's the whole intention is that it is valuable to these users, right? If we don't do this, if we don't get this, then it doesn't work, right? And so proof of coverage is still being rewarded because that's what we need network to operate on. That's it's an easy sales point. It's like, hey, this device, it can transmit wirelessly from anywhere, you know, or, or from a huge portion of the globe, right? So that's where we're at. In the, in the user space. Now there's, of course, manufacturers that have their own interests, right? I want to make a device. I want to make money on it. Uh, whatever reasons that they have, more reasons, maybe they just wanna be part of the ecosystem and the difference that they're making, right? And there's the builders, right? And me, you, building this network, there are certain things that we need to fund these efforts, right? Experimentation, the actual building itself, the supplies that we need, the pitfalls that we'll come into, replacing equipment, all that kind of stuff. So as we're building this network, we need that utility of a token to swirl in here and help us out. So there's value in that. From the validator standpoint, that is there's huge importance to having autonomous ways to check the network for proof of coverage, for blockchain operations, all of that kind of stuff. So they have their own interests in this as well. Investors, of course, you know, whether they're here to make a buck or they want to see this difference in the world, that's why they're here and why they want to show up. So they have their own interests. Distributors, right? It takes, takes a lot of time and space to move equipment around the world and get it out to us. So they also have a stake in the matter. And then, of course, there's the miners, whether it's one miner that's just a host or a fleet company. There's a lot of interest in here. And, of course, the utility of the token itself, or, or not even just the, the utility, but the, just the token itself as far as value. We all want to see the token value rise at a point that we're, we're making money, hopefully, that it's entertaining. You know, maybe we just want to see the difference in the world, but... There's, there's some value in how this would feed everybody in the system. So you take all that, and that's just what we've been in the IoT space. This is where we've been in the IoT space with h and And the intention of HIP51 is to really separate uh, this and, and still relate them, but have different tokens for these two spaces. Uh, this one, the, the name has been announced, it's gonna be the mobile token, and then this one, I believe the working name is a Helium LoRa token for LoRa coverage. So that's kind of the intention here. Now, how are they gonna do
do this. You know, we're now we've been in this IoT space, but as we shift to the 5G space, all of this happens differently. All these all these interests are are just different in in how they're going to approach things and what they need to get the network going in these two different places. So what Helium is saying is that hey, this is too complex for one token to uh, to basically be the, the end-all, be-all solution of that, right? And we're just getting started with 5G. We haven't even gotten proof of coverage like out yet. So there's, there's risk here. And so to minimize the risk, right, this is a little bit more mature than this. And so we want to make sure that we isolate these as best as possible to protect the integrity of the tokens and also to you know have some amount of, of risk buffering but then also give them what they need so that if there's investors that want to inject into this 5g token then they have a direct way to see more of 5g in the world or whatever token that they want to see in to to support that space a little bit more and so how they're how they're wanting to do this as amir halim said is that they want to set up these these DAOs, and this is in the, the HIP 51, but then um, they want as many brains on this as possible, right? You, me, everybody that's in this in this in these different spaces has interests in these, and maybe it's only one or the other, right? Maybe it's both. So the intention is to set up these DAOs, which stands for a Decentralized Autonomous Organization. So basically that we know, understand the problem spaces of these unique cases and what they need to succeed. And this will help the network scale faster. At least that's the belief in, in, in setting up these DAOs and these different tokens. So that basically is like one lever can, can adjust to uh, basically do this flywheel as uh, Tushar calls it um, for each system. So it's really, it's changing it from one flywheel to a couple flywheels in, in that they're almost like gears, like there's multiple gears turning and each providing leverage into this underlying Helium network token. So I wanted to kind of just throw about throw this out in the problem space and just understand, hey, what problems are we encountering and what are we trying to solve by doing this HIP 51? So I didn't answer this, all the questions that you may have, I may have not even gotten it all right, but I wanted to at least throw this information out so that you could think about it a little bit more and get your questions in the comments below. I'm also gonna link to uh, information, whether they be Twitter spaces, the hip itself. Uh, I think there is a, there, yeah, there's a podcast. There's a lot of information out there, even channels on Discord that you can go and have conversations on this because it's really important for you to be informed as to where the network's going. And there are still some great uh, disagreements in in this space that says hey I have concerns but I trust you enough to give you this vote and there's also I like I've already checked there's people who have voted against it already as well so again we want this to be an informed decision and if there's any concerns or huge concerns where we can say oh hey hold up then we can do that as well but by separating this a little bit more we can basically act a little bit more independently so I hope this was useful to you. If you like this video and want to see more, if you want to see the, a live stream on this, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment below as it just goes to help out the algorithms and also uh, let me know about where I need to go in a next evolution of this type of content in this particular aspect on HIP51. So thanks for watching. Until next time, Carpet and Pestis.